With episodes 26 and 27, we are at the end of Gurren Lagann. So we just made the super galaxy Gurren Lagann. Creature so powerful that even Shimon's glasses have transformed. He uses a super boomerang to cut one of the, the enemy spaceships in half. <laughs> it's so creepy. So there's something going on with like probability attacks or something. Um, so they're getting hit, but it's confusing. So this voice speaks to them and talks about how spiral power is like the worst thing ever. Spiral power is going to end the universe, according to this voice. Shimon's like, oh no! But uh, Viral is like, <laughs> he's bluffing, come on! But there is some truth to what the voice is saying. But there's also the truth that Nia is out there waiting. There's so much techno babble. That's the word, right? Like when on uh, Star Trek, when they would talk about something crazy, and then they'd be like, okay, let's do it, and they do it, and then the episode ends, and you're like, yeah! <laughs> That's what's happening right now. And then they fire out into the universe, and... <laughs> that happens. There's so much fighting spirit in their souls. So they fight, they do craziness, oh my god, and then the big projection of Nia disappears. That means they can go to the real Nia now, which is also the anti-spirals homeworld. What's going on? This is like a flashback, I think. Well, yeah, obviously, because they're younger and coming as alive. But it can't be a flashback, because this never happened. I'm so confused as to what's happening right now. Yoko is a bounty hunter. What is this, like an alternate universe? Okay, so, all right. <laughs> Pause. Um... Everyone is kind of trapped in this interdimensional space of universes that are created the instant they are perceived. So as soon as you think of something, it's a universe. And everyone is kind of trapped in their own little version of, you know, things that flash into their head. So, um, that's what's happening. And we're seeing the anti-spiral and he's like creepy, and he's talking to the former, formal Spiral King. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's when... Okay. Alright. So the source of the unusual Spiral power that's been getting the anti-Spiral's attention is Shimon's little pet, which is a thing. <laughs> what am I watching? Shimon has a bit of a fever dream of the time when he found Nia in her little box. Um, but like an alternate reality version of him finding Nia. But then the real Kamina comes to him in his dream. His drill is his soul. And he thinks of all the people who have died to get them to this point. And they share such a cute little moment, Shimon and the real Kamina, like... <sighs> Why did you have to die? And Yoko's having her all potential futures in her head, including marrying Kitan and becoming a super duper assassin sniper person, and also getting together with Kamina. All these futures, but nope, we don't need them. We have the real future. Oh, Viral had a cute little what if future. He's gonna leave? Oh, too bad. Anti-Spiral has decided to kill Nia! P.S. But then... <laughs> from her ring, a drill emerges! Oh, hello! This is so manly. Now, like, seriously, we're gonna watch the last episode. Huh? So Nia is rescued. Oh. The Anti-Spiral's like, impossible! This music is so dramatic. Oh yeah, everyone's fighting really hard. Tengen Topa Guren Laga. Okay. <laughs> There's so much happening right now. Oh, okay, so the formal Spiral King has a body again. And the anti-spirals are fighting against them in the form of a uh, uh, gunman. So it's an even playing field. That's what they're going for. But it is still under the anti-spirals control. Anti-spirals used to be a spiral race. But then they found out that the spiral power was gonna destroy the world or the universe so they were like no we hate everything so they they banished 
all of that sealed away the possibility of evolution. This is so complex. I like how they go on these rants and like no one responds to them. They're like, that's fine. You can think that, but they're just totally ignoring them and continuing to fight. And then for some reason they see the earth and on earth, everyone can see the battle. Aw, Dayaka has the best wife in the universe swing. Yes, I am full subtitles mode for this episode. I don't want to miss anything. And the anti-spirals insist that they will not allow this arrogance to continue. It's going to throw a big bang at them. You know, like the universe being created, Big Bang. And you know what? The opening theme starts playing, and... <laughs> you think this will defeat us, buddy? Really? Because they have another transformation. I guess. <laughs> oh, no, no, wait, no. What's his face? Uh, the former Spyro King is tra uh, sacrificing himself. <laughs> Bye. And that somehow gives them enough power to blast at the anti-spirals with a giant drill with his face on it. <laughs> I mean, oh my god, awesome. <laughs> oh my god, it, <laughs> there's so much fighting spirit that is, everything is just like exploding with rainbows and... <laughs> oh, this is too much. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like I should leave the room and just let this play. Just leave. It doesn't even need me. I don't even need to be here. Oh, I'm tired. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> so we've won. <laughs> And um, all the other spir spiral races across the galaxy are like, yeah, because all of the other logons are coming back to life. So they go home, and they're getting married. And Roshu is the <laughs> officiating. <laughs> and Nia is leaving. What? Everyone's like, what? Shimo's like, I knew this was gonna happen, no problem. Neo was a virtual life form created by the anti-spirals, and when we defeated the anti-spirals, she was gonna disappear, but she hung on because she loved Shimon so much. He's totally at peace with this, though. And so he's like, I'm out. Roshu, you got, you know, supreme ruler. You got that, right? Because I'm out. And that's the end of that super manly show. What a finale. My god. I kind of feel like <sighs> I need to call someone. <laughs> kind of exhausted, actually. After the credits. <laughs> 20 years later. <laughs> 20 years later. <sighs> Leron looks exactly the same, but Roshu is like old. <laughs> and Yoko is principal now, and her students are old, and and one of them became like the representative of space or whatever. <laughs> Gimme and Daria are older. Viral has short hair again, and he's commanding junk. So, and then there's this random small child trying to drill something, and a mysterious man comes up to give him advice. I think the mysterious man is probably Shimon. Okay, so that was the end of the show, and I don't know if I will ever experience a finale quite like that again. That was amazing. Anyway, don't give me any suggestions for new shows to watch in this video. I will do a retrospective for Gurren Lagan, and then I will specifically ask for a new show. So wait until then. I have a lot of really good things to say about this show. <laughs> so I'll see you next time for that. Bye!